What's up, YouTube? So today I want to show you a pretty cool technique that I stumbled upon using Bitwig spectral split devices. So this is useful for creating kind of liquid sounding leads and chords and pads, but it's also really interesting for sound design for like drum loops and all sorts of interesting things to kind of get glitchy textures out of almost anything. Anyway, let's dive in and have a look. So like I said, the basis of this technique, it revolves around Bitwig's spectral split devices, most specifically the frequency split. So what I want to do here is I just want to uh, mute this channel and then we can actually just play a note. So you can kind of see essentially what we're trying to achieve with the sound. So what the frequency split device does, it allows you to split your sound into various frequencies and you can choose that frequency split and modulate it. So it can change over time. And you can actually apply individual effects to each of these chains, which we're not going to do. The trick with this technique is to isolate just one or two of the bands. So I'm going to be doing this just on a, uh, a traditional saw wave out of Vital to start with. So what we can do here is we can just uh, disable these effects. And you'll see here we've just got a straight up saw wave coming out. And I'm going to disable this effect. So we can see that um, and I've also got some reverb and some uh, note and some OTT on here. So you'll notice that this is just a traditional saw wave. So like I said, the trick uh, of this technique is to isolate individual bands. So if we uh, enable this effect, I'm going to disable the uh, reverb and the OTT, like I mentioned. And I want to enable all of the bands. We're going to get very similar sound coming out to what's going in. But the trick here starts when we start to isolate these individual bands. So you can either just solo one band or you can disable these by clicking on this little speaker icon over here. So I actually just want to disable the modulation, which is being applied to this splits parameter over here. So for those who aren't understanding exactly what's going on here with the sound, if we have a look at these colors, when we sweep the splits, it's essentially just creating more bandpass filters. You can think of it like a bandpass filter. It's not because it's spectral, um, but you can think of it as isolating just a very particular band of frequencies, and those bands are represented by the colors. So right now we're only hearing the blue and purple uh, bands because we've selected these bands to actually play out the output. Does that make sense? So when we modulate the splits parameter, what we're getting is these kind of uh, band pass filters that kind of stack up and more get added and they kind of do this really weird phasing effect. Because it's spectral, instead of creating phasing out of the sound, it creates these like almost arpeggiator-like patterns, which are really, really cool for more modern uh, bass music genres or even just for adding textures to a pad or chord sound. So that's what I'm going to do here. We have a very slow modulation um, over here being applied from an LFO onto that splits parameter. And then if we turn it all the way down and um, I've got a macro that's then applied to the speed of that LFO. I guess following. So this would be the result. With just a traditional saw wave, it's a little bit boring, but if we start to excite the synth patch a little bit with a little bit of chorus and uh, reverb, we start to add a little bit of extra tones and then these kind of little uh, arpeggiator-like textures that are being added to the sound almost get smoothed a little bit. Um, then what we can do is we can also add a little bit more reverb afterwards. And this particular patch, this particular setup with the frequency split, um, some reverb is particularly good for chord-like sounds or pads and that kind of thing.
Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so for just a little bit of extra oomph, we can add a bit of uh, modulation to the filter in Vital. So let's add a random. You also get some super interesting effects if you stack them and uh, differentiate uh, the like which of these spectral splits is actually playing. So for example, here we got purple and blue. And then on the second one, we got yellow and red. So they're essentially doing different speeds of modulation and allowing for different uh, segments of the frequency split to go through. So you get this really textureful, uh, not quite phasey because it's more kind of like uh, descending arpeggiations of uh, frequencies. Really, really cool technique. So anyway, more towards kind of drum loops processing and that kind of thing. I would traditionally take off the reverb and then what we can do is just uh, move this entire rack over to uh, something which we have maybe a drum loop on. And then I like to use something like Infiltrator or something after this. So essentially we're creating like random sounds with this. And then just use your favorite glitchy plugin that's going to like re-trigger these sounds and stuff after we've uh, mangled them with that frequency split. Cool. I think that's about it. So just to recap, the main things is use the frequency split, only allow one or two of the bands through, 
and then modulate the splits parameter and the rest is up to you. Awesome, so that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, if you haven't, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button. I will see you guys next time. Cheers.